How's it going everybody? It's Stock Picks by Tim and we are dealing with a blood red day today. I'm going to look at a couple of stocks on the chart here, give you some levels to watch out for. Charge point's been pulling back, we're definitely going to look at that. I also wanted to show you guys AMD. It broke an important support level and we're also just going to look at the SPY and I'll give you my thoughts there and we'll briefly check out CleanSpark. It is hitting new lows. And if you like these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You guys are the only reason I'm around. And let's take a look at the SPY. And look at the SPY. You'll see we are in this falling wedge pattern now. We may suddenly get kicked with some buyers and break out of this, but we've definitely been in a harsh downtrend. And you'll see that since the 16th of August, the SPY has been just dropping consistently. It has been trading in this descending channel and I actually just broke the bottom end of it. You know, and that 380 level was a very important level. Once we broke that, we just started absolutely dropping. I do think it can get caught with some buyers and have a little pop, but I really wouldn't be surprised for us to test this low here in June 2022. I would not be surprised in the least to see the SPY hit 360. It definitely seems like that's the direction it's going. And you'll actually see that zooming out, it's been in a longer term downtrend since the 31st of December. Now, in my personal opinion, it is definitely great for a DCA at this point. Definitely good to be a long-term buyer for the SPY. And for the newbies just getting into the market, I think that you need to look no further than to start adding to the SPY, knowing that it could potentially go lower. But over the long term, I do see great upside here. And I did want to show you guys Apple because, of course, wherever Apple goes, it will likely put pressure on the SPY. It is a huge holding in the SPY. And you'll see Apple's been in a downtrend since August as well. And this 148 area is going to be very important. If we break this, we are definitely falling further. But you can tell that Apple is in a downtrend. Trend. I am still watching Apple and I'm looking to pick it up starting in the low 140s and 130s. And next up, I wanted to pull AMD up and then we'll look into smaller and smaller caps here. But as I've said before, guys, this 73 74 area is a very important support for AMD. It did break under it. We will see if the $70 area holds. And if it doesn't hold, we'll be in some trouble. Now, 70 is a psychological number. It can, of course, try to bounce there. But just be aware we are in an overall downtrend. And if we do continue further, it is definitely, in my opinion, somewhat unlikely, but possible to see the $60 area for AMD. That being said, I think now is a great time to start chipping away at it. I haven't yet bought just because I do see some potential lower levels, but I am definitely eyeing this one. I'm keeping a close eye on it. One thing to note though, is their earnings is coming up towards the end of October. You might want to wait until after, or you might just want to set some tight stop losses, but be aware it's in a downtrend. Those stop losses will likely get hit. And next up guys, I did want to pull up charge point and I'm looking to see how $15 holds. And upon a break of that $14 will be the next level of support clear psychological numbers and we have bounced around at that point before 15 was a previous resistance flipping as a support we'll see how it holds and then of course this 14 area was a previous resistance as well and a support too so we'll see how that goes but remember guys we are in an overall uptrend since our may 11 lows and charge point has definitely been having difficulty breaking 20 and actually holding it actually hasn't been able to break 20 but i do think once we do break 20 it'll try to flip it as a support we do need the market to be a little more positive. We still have a lot of negative sentiment in the market, but just remember guys, you definitely want to watch this purple line. This is our ascending support here. And if we do break this, we can likely fall further. And um, very likely by the beginning of October, we need to be at least over around 1450. If we can be over 1450 through the beginning of October, we can definitely bounce off of this and push higher, potentially come to those 20s. But you will see, sorry for all the millions of lines everywhere, but you'll see this downtrend. We did reverse out of it and cleaning this up just a little bit. You'll see that we reversed out of it, had a little pop and bounced off of it as a support. I think that's important. And next up, everybody, I did want to pull up CleanSpark CLSK. This is one of my high conviction plays. This one actually broke 380 and is falling hard. I am watching this to see if we're going to bounce off of three or break it. We are definitely becoming quite oversold, but that doesn't mean this can't fall further. And pulling up Bitcoin because it's going to have a huge effect on CleanSpark, obviously. We do have an important area to watch, this $18,000 area, and then, of course, our low right around the 17500 Bitcoin has tried to break out of this resistance here this yellow line and you'll see that this has been a struggle once it finally does break out of this we are going to have a pop in my opinion honestly to me it's a matter of if we hold these supports or break them and fall further come into possibly november before we do break out but remember guys we're getting closer and closer to the next halving we're almost a year away we're getting closer and closer though still not a year away yet but remember once we get to about that year point Bitcoin does start seeing a little bit of a pop while there's all this negative sentiment while there's all this pessimism you've got companies like blackrock etc buying bitcoin and also selling it to their highest net worth individuals my opinion on bitcoin is that i will continue to add through it even if we do break these levels i am a dca type person for bitcoin and i honestly do believe that we will break out of this resistance soon 
and the market will recover. We are waiting for the stock market, obviously, as well, because Bitcoin is trying to trade like the stock market. Wall Street already has their grubby fingers in it, and they're obviously going to manipulate to their liking. So just be careful. I do think it's possible that we test this 17. If we break it, we're going to test 15, 16. Is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? No one really knows. But just watch those important support levels and also watch this reversal potential breakout here. But that's basically it for you guys. Just want to give you a little update on what I'm watching today in the market. Let me know what you guys are watching in the comments below. Thanks as always and take it easy.